So let me show you one of the most important tabs in Time Planner app. And this tab is called Statistics. Why is that the most important? It is because it helps you to analyze where your time goes. It helps you to realize whether your planning is effective and adequate. And it actually shows you the difference between the expectations and the reality. All right, let me show you how it works within this app. So right now we're in Statistics tab in Scheduled Time top tab. So here I have my schedule for today and in this pie chart you can see the sections, the sectors that actually show you the amount of time and the percentage from the total that you have scheduled for today. It is actually taken from Logging tab from the scheduled activities of today. And the next top tab is Locked tab, Locked time. It's actually the pie chart of the time that is already locked for the things for me today. And the next one is Ratio time. It is actually the difference between the scheduled time and locked time. So it's like an expectation and reality ratio. And surely you can scroll up and down to see the stats in there. And if you long press on some bar on this chart, you can see the details about the certain date. All right, let's move back to the lock time and let's scroll in different places. And we can see that we have different things locked there. And also we can choose the date picker to go to a certain date like this. And also we won't be lost because there is go to today button on top right. And it brings us back to today's date. All right, and now let me show you how the drawer for filtering the statistics works. So if you tap on the name of the top tab or on the big plus, not plus, but just big button on the bottom left, you will open the drawer to filter the stats. So here you can look through the statistics for a day, week, month or year. I'll choose year. A time, quantity or value activities. I'll go for value. And also here you can enter the tag or title. I'll go for the tag expense. And here you can actually write some unit like currency or inches or kilometers or whatever. And here you can choose the category. The root category is the main category of the app that has all the rest categories in it. And some, some subcategories, which I'll explain it a bit later. So I tap on apply. And if I tap on apply, I have all the stats changed. Please press on this button if you want your filters to be applied to the stats you see. So here you can see the pie chart, all the things of value tagged by expense tag for this year for me. And also I'll show you what some subcategories does. If I tap on it to activate it, to turn it on, it will actually bring the subcategories together into the category of, into their parent category. And I press and apply and you can see the stats really do change. All right, and let's look through the different stats. So let's go for a week, for time, I'll remove the tag in save and apply. Here you can see the stats for the week and it is the locked time. And from here I can easily actually change the category. If I tap on the category icon under the go to today button. So I'll choose different category and see that the stats are changed immediately. All right, one more thing I wanted to say you, to tell you that it is very important to lock time, quantity and values. Why that? Because this way, when you lock your time, you'll create the relevant personal statistics that actually is the best motivator 
for you to realize where your time goes, where you can squeeze in some extra stuff you want, and also it helps you to get inspired to spend one of the most precious things you have in your life, and it's the time. You can spend it more wisely if you realize where it goes. All right, I'm done and have effective time planning and implementing.